Hey, it's me, Laura, the creator of this podcast. Before the episode begins, I just wanted to thank this month's new patron, Ada Phillips. If you're interested in financially supporting us and getting a patron shout-out as well as bonus content, make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. Now, let's get to the episode. Aurora Everlasting January 31, 7-4, 1628. Progress report number 2754. Devin Jack speaking. We've been having some issues with power outages for the last few days. We've had two in sector A and one in sector D. I have been checking the wiring and it turns out there was one connector in dire need of replacing in sector A. I haven't found anything wrong in sector D yet, but I'm sure I'll figure that out soon. Sector D is storage space anyways. No one ever goes there. On to the crew. Humphrey had a small lab accident yesterday. He sustained first degree burns on his right hand. Bennett says there will be no permanent damage, but unfortunately doctor's orders are no experiments for at least a week. Yes, if. I bet Humphrey is in the lab right now, possibly burning his other hand as we speak. Bennett has been better lately. At least the withdrawal symptoms eased a bit. I hope... well, let's not spend our time hoping around. I think that's everything... Oh! Almost forgot Humphrey's 100th birthday is coming up this week and I... We've got this sweet surprise planned. If Bennett can keep his mouth shut it. Hey! Hey! What you doing? Telling our colleagues from the communications department about your little accident. When you say it like that, it sounds really weird. What are you up to? Nothing. I mean, I'm visiting you. All right, because I thought you were hoping I wasn't in my office, so you could use it as a shortcut to your lab and Bennett wouldn't see you because he's probably sitting in medbay, just waiting for you to walk past his door. I'm visiting you, though. Why? Because I enjoy spending time with you. <laughs> Nice try. Appeal to my goodwill, why don't you? I won't stop you from going to the lab. If Bennett asked, I didn't see you. Thanks. I owe you one. Besides, I've got a bet to win. Where was I? Oh, right. So, on Monday we will... Alert. What the? Alert. Who are Alert. you? How? Alert. You can't be here. Alert. How did you get into the Alert. station? I... I don't know. Operation Log, November 7. I finally got it all together. I got it. It's the cats! Not all cats, of course. Cats are lovely. I mean, not the cats, but the robot animal thingies that look like cats. My mom used to have one. I think her name was Rosie, or maybe Lily. Some kind of flower. Or was it a vegetable? Was there a cat called Tomato? No. No. Her name was not Tomato. Anyway, where was I? I I can't believe I forgot what I was going to say. I got up at 5 a.m. just to record this. Might as well talk about recent developments, huh? My tomato plant died. I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't change the water filter in time. I mean, I didn't react to the polluted water all too well either. Spent that whole week in bed. That's not really all that recent, though. What's happened lately? Oh, whoever is in charge of the facility now is doing a great job. I mean, really, exceptional. They upped security measures so immensely, people can't even get any information out of the compound, even if they're compensated more than generously. Well, maybe not more than, but very generously indeed. And it's really not helping certain people who are trying to figure out what is going on in there. Certain people are really doing their best, but they're pretty sure that if they show up at the front door of those corporate bloodsuckers one more time, they'll get dealt with quickly and cleanly, and I am not interested in ending my career that way just yet. 
So what I was trying to say is that Jenny doesn't take my bribes anymore, which is less than ideal. I really could have used some intel on their new top dog. I think it might be someone who's been at the facility for a while because they haven't really brought in someone new for about two years. <laughs> Unless they smuggled them in with their provisions. What if they smuggled them in with their provisions? I will be exploring this new angle tomorrow. Oh well, I will prepare to. I really just wanted to document the cat thing. Since yesterday, they have all been behaving so off. None of the strays has touched any of the trash I threw out two days ago. I even had some leftover fish in there. I don't know, maybe if I drink another energy. No. They found me. I always knew it would end this way. But I'm not going down easy. <sighs> January 31, 7 4, 1655. You didn't need to knock her out, you know. I didn't need to. She appeared out of nowhere. She could be dangerous. I don't think she is. And you gathered that from your one minute interaction during which she mumbled a lot and you screamed, is that right? That was a perfectly valid response to the situation. And so was tranquilizing her. So, what do we do with her now? I don't have a clue. There's no protocol for crazy lady teleports onto the spacecraft. We should question her. True, it would be nice to know how she got in here. I... She's an incredible security risk. We can't just have her running around the spaceship. We have to get rid of her. We can't risk it. What? You can't just kill her. We don't have a choice. We do. We can just ask her. She could wait, be... Wait, 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 wait. Have we actually considered that this might just be a shared delusion or something? What? Think about it. She just appeared out of thin air. That's just impossible. What if we've just all gone completely mad and we've been hallucinating this whole thing? Humphrey, I shot her. That seemed pretty real to me. Also, she set off an alarm. Hallucinations don't usually do that. Then we can't just kill her. She's a human being. We don't know that. <laughs> Aliens? Are you kidding me? It's literally our mission to search for alien life. Why are you surprised? We are searching for microorganisms, not people. But okay, let's say she's an alien from an alien planet who just so happens to look like a human and to teleport it right into our spaceship while we're out here traversing through the middle of nowhere. Your solution is to kill her? This is literally our best case scenario. He's got a point. Yes, he does. She stays under constant supervision though. We'll take shifts guarding her. Whoever interacts with her in any way will be wearing full hazmat gear. She can't stay forever. You... We don't have the rations or the space. Alright, but at least we talk to her first, right? Right. Jax, do you agree? Yeah, I do. I just... I'm against killing her. I will do whatever you say, but I can't condone murdering someone. I understand. All right, Jax and I will be talking to her. Humphrey, you wait outside and be ready to initiate a lockdown in case anything goes wrong. Understood. Good. Let's do this then. Get down! Where are the others? Who? The others. Dude, if we knew where... Hey! Stay down! Jesus! Okay, okay, I'll just keep laying down. You won't shoot me, alright? Yes. So... Who are you? My name is Margaret Nielsen. And where's the rest of your team? Last time I checked, we were all on a spacecraft, but it seems things have changed. What? I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure I should be up there and not in what looks like an old warehouse, I guess. I... What are you talking about? Oh, just the fact that a literal minute ago I was up there in space and now I'm down here on Earth. Surprisingly, that doesn't tend to happen all that often. Stop for a second. You teleported here? No. Maybe. Look, I'm not sure what happened either. Are you... are you an alien? Do I look like an alien to you? I... I don't know what aliens look like. That's why I asked. No, I'm not an alien. Can I get up now? 
I suppose. So, what were you doing in space? Well, nothing. Generally, advancing the human understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. But most of the time, nothing. That's... Just one question. Where are we? Oh, um, Denmark. Oh. Is that inconvenient for you? I guess not, it's just... I don't know, it feels unreal to actually be here, I just... So let me get this straight. You were in space. How? Why? Was it one of those last government missions? Or when did you leave Earth? You haven't been up there all that long though, right? So that's out of question. Was it a secret or... I promise I'll answer your questions. Can we just go inside? Oh yes. Yes, of course. Just follow me. January 31, 7-4, You're right. Yeah, go on. So we just wait? Huh? Until she wakes up. I guess. But that... Stay calm, please. We do not mean you any harm. You shot me. And I will again if you don't stay calm. I'm... I'm Devon. This is Commander Bennett. What's your name? I... Don't worry. You don't have to tell us. I can just... No, no. It's not that. I just... Don't really know. It's all a bit... Foggy. In my head. That's alright. Do you still remember how you got here? I didn't get here. I was on the landing pod and then I wasn't. Landing pod? Were you on Where a... am I? What do you mean? Where am I? What is this place? You're deflecting. Shut up. You're on vessel WRC-42. We're on our way to Andor 4, the planet formerly known as... As Farron IC-95. Yes. How did you know that? I... we were supposed to go there. Who's we? My crew. But then they got some new data. The planet isn't habitable. What? She's lying. Who told you this? Dr. Dr. Meyer, I think, from the biology department. She said... I don't know what she said. Bennett. They wouldn't have sent us up here if there was nothing out there, right? Right? I... No, no they wouldn't. They did this to us. Who did? They sent us up here to die. Who sent and you now here? I'm the only one left. Calm down. Let all of them die. Why did you bring me here? Jax. Why didn't you Bennett, leave me stop. up there with that... that we didn't bring you here. We are just trying to help you. What the... Anything infiltrate your ship or did you touch any weird crystals? Did you drive into a black hole or a wormhole? I don't actually know the difference. Oh, did you meet some aliens? Did they send you here? What if they'll come after you? What if- I don't mean to offend you, but I really need to shut up if you want me to tell you what happened. Yes, shutting up. Completely silent now. I was with the Android 7 mission on a CR242 craft. Our mission- Wait, did you? I'm sorry. I'll let you talk in just a second. Did you say Android 7? Yes. I know that name. Why do I know that name? I mean, I'd be surprised if you actually knew it. Our mission was pretty much kept quiet. Were you with Dr. Ternia? Uh, yes. Leo is part of our team. What? I don't know how to tell you this. You're supposed to be dead. What? According to this, your whole team died in 2359 in a crash shortly after takeoff. That can't be right. Obviously you're not dead. And it's been a while since then. I mean, it's 2547 now. That's what, 180... Wait, wait, wait. Which year is it? 2547? That can't be right. It's, it's supposed to be 2552, yes? No, it's the year 2547. I'm 100% sure. That's... You're a time traveler! I'm a doctor. You're a doctor time traveler! You're insane. Well, what else would you be? A an astronaut. A researcher? And a time traveler. There is no other explanation. I have to figure this out. Yeah, let's... No, I have to figure this out. There should be a porous facility in Denmark. I think at least... Porous? Yes. So you do work for them? Technically, yeah. They sent us... I can't let you go back there. Wh why? They're literally evil. Sure. No, listen. They said you're dead when you're definitely not. They sent you out there and now they're pretending your mission failed when it did not. That's kind of fishy, right? I'm sure there's a good explanation for that. You 
you don't know what they've done. It's they're in control of everything now. Provisions, medical supplies, electricity. They've replaced almost all governments, at least on the continent. All our police are directly under their control. All stop, please. Just how did this happen? I'm not sure. I think the birds. The birds. Maybe I'm just dead, and this is all a dream. What if Evelyn and Anna can't revive Leo all alone? What if they're just all dead? I'm What? sure we can figure this out. Would you like a cup of tea? I'll make some tea. Aurora Everlasting returns with its next episode on January 7th, 4 p.m. Central European time. It is produced by Laura Reicher and protected under a Creative Commons 4.0 international license. This episode was written, directed and edited by Laura Reicher. It featured Karina Stickler as Evelyn Coyle, Sophie Erhardt as Margit Margon Nielsen as well as the disembodied voice, Elena Hitzebacher as Orson, Simon Talame as Devon Jacks, Florian Rabel as Commander Bennett and Valentin Sosani as Humphrey. If you want to help us out or show your support, tell a friend about this podcast. Or, if you're feeling really crazy today, you can even tell two friends. You could also review a podcast wherever you like. The best way for us to gain new listeners is with your help, because, let's be honest, our marketing budget is non-existent. If you're interested in bloopers, extra content, or you just want to financially support the podcast, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. And for some background infos, feel free to check out our social media. We're at aurora underscore everlast on Twitter and at aurora underscore everlasting underscore podcast on Instagram. Thank you for listening and find us on the podcasting app of your choice for the next episode.